it would be very nice um, um, to have Syria transformed into a liberal Wilsonian democracy, um, uh, if you will. Well, that was a plan for Iraq as well. And look at what happened after 2003. So what is the discourse inside Palestinian borders on the Syrian conflict? And what is the debate on um, the Syrian conflict also within Israeli borders? How do these two perspectives relate or differ and how best to deal with it? Well, if you look, for example, at the Palestinian community in Syria and how they've responded um, uh, to the Syria crisis, what's quite striking to me is, is that you see um, uh, Palestinians taking positions that are roughly similar to those of the Syrian people as a whole. In other words, um, you've got those who are pro-regime, those who are anti-regime, those who are fighting for the regime, those who are fighting against the regime. And what that demonstrates to me is how extraordinarily well integrated the Palestinians in Syria um, have been um, since uh, 1948. It's a very different situation than you had, for example, in Lebanon or in Jordan previously, where Palestinians basically acted um, uh, as, a, as a bloc um, uh, with respect to the government and other political forces. In Syria, they've kind of divided again, you know, broadly similarly to the Syrian people um, as a whole. In terms of um, uh, how Palestinians are viewing the Syria conflict in other communities, I think it's fair to say that if you were to look at Palestinians inside the occupied territories and inside um, the Green Line. My sense is that their views of um, uh, the Syria conflict tend to be colored by their more general sympathies. In other words, those who over the years have developed an attachment to uh, particularly Hezbollah because of its eff effectiveness um, as a uh, uh, force resisting Israeli expansionism and, and so on tend to be um, more sympathetic um, to the Syrian government. Those who perhaps identify more strongly um, uh, with Hamas tend to be more sympathetic to the Syrian uh, opposition, particularly because the Syrian Muslim Brotherhood is also um, an important force in the Syrian opposition. How could the UN have played a bigger role or been more influential in containing or mitigating the Syrian conflict in the context of the past, present, and the future? Very big question. Um, I would say that um, the primary um, obstacle that the UN faced in the past when it had um, uh, experienced um, and competent um, uh, mediators, and I'm thinking specifically here of uh, Lakhdar Brahimi, but also Kofi Annan before him, um, I think the key obstacles they faced was, first of all, the lack of consensus within um, uh, the UN Security Council and insufficient support by the international community, not only within the UN, but also um, uh, within the region. And, and I think the UN was not able to um, uh, formulate policy with the kind of autonomy and independence uh, that would have, would have been necessary and was basically um, uh, held hostage, if you will, by the great powers and um, and, uh, and the regional powers. I think also with uh, during the time of Kofi Annan, there was a problem of a mistaken assumption that Syria was going the way of Tunisia and Egypt and uh, Yemen, and that planning therefore needed to focus on finding a graceful exit for President uh, Assad, even though it was clear he had no intention of leaving. And during the time of uh, Lakhda Brahimi, I think the main obstacle was um, the inability to bring the various regional powers on board. If you talk about the situation now, I can only say that based on personal experience, um, um, uh, the UN has uh, subcontracted its um, Syria operation to someone who is neither an experienced um, nor for that matter a competent mediator. Um, I would say this is someone who is just completely out of his depth, uh, not up to the task. Um, and really needs to be um, uh, uh, replaced by someone who has what it takes to be able to implement what appears to be a growing um, American, Russian, and hopefully uh, regional and Syrian consensus as well on uh, seeking to resolve this bloodbath. 